What's going on everybody? Welcome back here to the channel. Hopefully you all are doing well. So I kind of just need to quickly make this a little bit more of a personalized video. Uh, if you've been following my channel, which most of you have been over these past couple weeks, then you're well aware of the kind of situation that I'm in, more, more or less deeper than, a, than I ever would have imagined regarding the stalker situation and there's a lot of new people new faces around here on my channel and I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of an overview on what's currently going on it's extremely stressful and it's taking a lot out on me and to an extent it's honestly stressing me out more than I can ever imagine that most of you probably are aware of this and I do not wish this situation that I'm in upon anyone as it just takes a lot out of you. It takes your time, it takes your effort, it's just too much, to be quite honest. And there's been a couple times these past few days where I have literally just thought about just stepping away, <laughs> stepping away and just completely giving up because this wasn't, this situation started probably about six or seven months ago. I can't really remember when. I would have to go back in my videos and actually look and see when the very first situation was uploaded. But it all started with me uploading various deep web videos and calling cursed phone numbers. Now whether or not my phone number was leaked on some sort of sketchy site that I was getting information off of for information regarding my YouTube videos, or contacting various phone numbers related to hackers, just cursed entities, Random things that easily could have leaked my phone number out and is currently regarding in this kind of situ- <laughs> Things that have ended up in this kind of situation. So, I'm not entirely sure on how it all started, but it's growing- It seems like that now every single day I'm beginning to get more and more and more either just messing with me or threatening me or doing something of the sort, but it's getting extremely stressful to the point on it's driving me insane. It's driving my family insane, it's driving myself. I'm losing sleep. It's depressing. The thought of having someone watching you 24 seven when you're out in public, or even when you're sitting in your own room, having to put tape over your web cameras just for the fact that a month ago that my two cameras were on for no apparent reason, just filming, is an extremely unnerving feeling. And I can't explain it. It's absolutely terrifying. And I'm about ready to just walk away. But it's not going to happen. If I were to do that, then the people that are doing this to me would have won. And that's exactly what I'm not going to do. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not doing anything stupid like that. So don't ever think that. I've been getting a lot of tweets from people saying, Are you doing? Are you going to be leaving YouTube or something like that? Because it's so stressful. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. And the daily uploads are still going to continue. It's just that... It's really stressful to me, and it brings a lot of energy out. Just dealing with this, losing sleep in general, it just sucks. And I'm going to be going over a couple other emails and things that I got last night. It's just that it seems like every single day I'm doing one of these videos, and it's not what I want to do. I don't want to continue making these types of videos of someone saying, Oh, someone emailed you, giving you the location of your house, and saying that they're going to kill you the next day. I don't want to be making videos like that, but unfortunately, the amount of stuff that I receive every single day on a day-to-day -day basis is just unbelievable, and it's completely unnerving to an extreme extent. Now, before we get into any of that, I just kind of want to let you all know is that outside of YouTube, yes, YouTube is kind of my life. It's kind of my main little thing that I have stick w I've stuck with since the very beginning. But outside of YouTube, I have just as many things that I do that has nothing to do with YouTube. For those of you who don't know, I am basically working on getting into broadcasting. I'm a camera operator, I've been an independent contractor, I work in real estate, real estate agents hire me so I can go film stuff. I have a completely other kind of occupation that I've been doing for years now that is completely separate from YouTube. So when things like that start getting affected because of what's happening at home, with on YouTube, with all of these things that people are sending me, it really affects my work that is completely outside. Now, I am heading to Japan here next month on a production shoot for about a week. Videos aren't gonna stop, I'm already making triple uploads a day so you guys will have something to watch while I'm gone. 
but I'm heading to Montana soon. I'm going to Texas. I'm going to Maine. Several different places where I am filming because I am a camera operator. But the uploads will continue no matter how bad or how serious the situation occurs. There will always be content for you all to watch, updating you on the current situation, what I'm going through, whatever it may be, you all will still know what's going on. And I'm telling you firsthand is that if I stop uploading for some apparent reason, then something's wrong. If you follow me on Twitter and I don't update you on what's going on, and I just all of a sudden stand up and leave one day for not uploading, then something's seriously wrong. And I'm, gonna con I'm just going to continue to push forward. And I can't believe and I can't, I can't begin to thank you all for the support because I know that if it wasn't for all of your tweets, all of your comments, all of your messages, I know there's a lot of people that think that this is all fabricated, but the truth of the matter is, is that it's not. And you're more than welcome to switch shoes in me in a day in the life. You're more than welcome. I'd love to take a vacation. But the fact of the matter is, is that this stuff really does happen in the world, and I want to continue to update you all in the current situation. But that, I guess that's kind of all that I wanted to say about this. But uh, we're going to head over here. I'm going to do a little screen grab, and I'm going to show you all what I received last night. So I received, so a couple days ago I did a video on a message or a DM that was sent to me on Instagram by an account named inactive account underscore B and um, it seems as though that either this is someone that is impersonating this individual or it's actually the real thing. Now I will leave that video at the very end of this one if you missed it but I'm not going to waste time just going over it because I want to get this over and done with. But basically, they sent me four emails in total. This was the very first one that was sent to me last night at about 11.30, 12 hours ago. The email itself is ag22313632 at gmail.com. And it seems as though this account was made for the sole purpose of contacting me. Now, whether or not, as I said, that this is the real deal or this is just someone that is impersonating it, I have no idea. But the fact of the matter is, is that they sent me something that's encrypted and I don't know what it means, so we're just gonna listen to it. So it's just this five, it's a six second message of just binary code. I would go over it, but I'm still trying to translate the other one, the other encrypted message that I received. I'm just extremely busy outside of YouTube and any help that you all in the comment section can give me would be deeply and amazingly appreciated. You have no idea because as I said, none of this would be possible without any of you. Another email with this message. Okay, now this message said that you shouldn't have called binary code. This other one is just called success. There's binary codes everywhere. Okay, that's another message. And this one's just named 666. And then the the wave file is called that we seek. That message was sent. That was the last one that they sent to me, and that was nine hours ago. So from the time of last night at 11.30 to about almost 3 a.m., they had been sending me these encrypted messages basically the entire night. And I'm not entirely sure on how long this is going to last, but I will be blocking this email. Anyone that can give me any information on the email address or the account itself would be appreciated. I just don't know how long uh, I will be able to deal with people like this because I get at least 40 emails a day, whether they be messages of just creepy pictures, audio files, encrypted emails. I don't know if they're just people fucking with me or not. I, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. Different types of videos. I want to get back to uploading top 10s and you know, testing urban legends and phone numbers and whatnot, but this definitely keeps me occupied with trying to figure out who is sending me all this crap. So thank you very much everyone for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.